Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we are on November 11th, 2020. Lest we forget all the fallen soldiers that have done their service for our freedom. We are able to do what we do. We are able to see what we can see. And today we're looking at two active sunspots on our sun. One is very active. You can see in the last frame there, let out a little ejection. Looking now at the incoming images. This is the last 48 hours for activity on our sun. A little earth to scale. And that this is the outgoing images. Pretty complex sunspot there on the right hand side and creating quite a spectacular image here when we're looking at it massive loops of plasma look at that wow so that was a cme and that is in an earth facing position so stay aware and prepared we will be keeping an eye on that and also no coronal holes to talk about amazing images here i want to thank everybody for tuning in to morning dew daily events worldwide i appreciate you supporting this channel and don't forget to smash that like button it really helps youtube suggest this video if it is as good as you guys say it is and you hit that like button and share it youtube's gonna say okay let's suggest it so let's get out there friends and family thank you for watching looking here at the real-time solar wind as we are very low now at 329 kilometers per second after spiking over the last seven days there you can see where we've seen an increase in the density looking here at the schumann residence we are at a power of 52 a lots of activity the last 48 hours running at a 7.9 quality Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours, it's been pretty busy. And we're gonna get into the larger earthquakes. We're gonna start out here with the most recent down in Puerto Rico, where they've seen small rumbles throughout the day today. Twos and fours, or sorry, twos and threes, not too much going on there, but the one east of it, 3.3 moving east, interesting and then we've got california quakes all up along the west coast here 3.4 3.4 and a 3.2 3.0 and then through stanley idaho watching a small swarm here just recent and as well an interesting 4.3 in port mcneil canada just on the west coast the juan de fuca plate where me and some of the subscribers, we were talking just last night about that quiet zone, because over the last seven days, there was nothing there. Looking at minor activity through Hawaii, large earthquake here, the largest last 24 hours, a 5.7 in the volcano regions of Japan, and as well, a 5.0 here reported in Taiwan, as well, a 4.8. 4.8 here reported Philippines as well 4.7 Indonesia through Papua New Guinea most recent 4.5 and as well a 4.3 quiet throughout the Tonga right now and as well here an interesting 4.6 in Kuwait at a 10 kilometer depth and then everybody's talking about Macedonia as they had a 5.0 early this morning and a couple aftershocks after that a 4.9 reported and as well a 3.8 stay aware and prepared my friends just have a plan and be ready for anything our world is a changing 4.5 there reported in Greece and finally here South America the deepest earthquakes the last 24 hours 272 kilometer depth in Chile so 4.2 and 4.3 reported there. I'm just have it to look at the last seven days. You could see 
that was very active all around the plates. Everywhere but right here. The Juan de Fuca plate. The Cascadia fault line. We ended up having that 4.3. A small release. And that we're seeing an increase in the deeper earthquakes recently in the last 24 hours through South America and the Tonga region. And as well through Papua New Guinea today. So this is a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Seeing a lot of pressure throughout Eurasia and up into China and Russia. Northern Plate being very active as of late, which doesn't surprise me with all of the atmospheric conditions that have been uh, unfolding across the Northern Hemisphere. So let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center here. Most recent volcanoes being updated. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Uh, Sabancaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. Popo, Sangay, Dokono. Reventador, Ebico. And that's all in the last six hours. So that's about nine volcanoes. Villarica in Chile. Yesterday, Era in Japan, Cinnabung, Rikon de Levehu, Karamiski, Russia, and then here's a brand new one, Tungurahua, 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 who is just north of Sangay and south of Raventador, and it has become very active now in the last 48 hours, and this is a new, newly active volcano, so definitely going to be doing a volcanic activity report on all of the volcanic activity around the world. As well, we're observing two hurricanes that are alive right now. Hurricane Ita, who has been alive for 11 days, almost 12 days, has one has had one of the strangest uh, runs through the Atlantic here, as it has seen every category, and it has moved every direction, and it is still just moving very strange. So stay safe, aware, and prepared, all of my American friends. I know Dan Extreme Vocals, he is there in the thick of it in Lakeside, Florida. So stay safe, my friend. Also looking at a invest area number 19 here, just south of the Dominican in Haiti. So that is going to be the next tropical storm heading west into the Gulf. And then we've got an, another Theta, tropical storm Theta who's in the Atlantic, heading towards Portugal and Spain. So that is now the second tropical system that Spain will see in the last seven days. So stay safe, aware and prepared, my friends out there, friends and family. Maybe that will help here, the Algeria fires who just sparked up a few hours ago. Also observing here, the other typhoon, Typhoon Famco, who I have been documenting on live streams recently pretty large rain soaked hurricane here heading into the Philippines right now as a category one possibly category two when it leaves land into Taiwan I'll show you the five-day forecast coming up really soon here observing some strange conditions across the Pacific right now and just look at the size of the low pressure systems that are developing and as well, this long line of moisture that stretches straight across the Pacific. And that's going to be heading into the BC coastline here in the next five days. So stay safe, aware, prepared. Also observing throughout Australia, as in the last few days, they've had some pretty extreme weather as well. This large low pressure system was affecting them. That was almost a tropical system that affected them in the southeastern areas of Australia large hail and torrential downpours throughout the southeastern regions. Let's get to five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Looking here, home base Calgary, Alberta, as temperatures are really swinging recently, but it's about to get cold, really cold. And that's going to go straight across the prairies here, observing some cool temperatures moving in from the north. So five day forecast starting out here at Calgary dry the next couple days but then a system moving into the bc coast at washington coastline 
will be developing a large Colorado low and then moving eastward. But then you can see that atmospheric river coming later in the week into these cold, cold temperatures. Minus 23 reported up in Manitoba and minus 9, down to minus 9 degrees Celsius. That is well below freezing for everyone down in the States. Higher elevations, seeing these really cold temperatures already. Very interesting indeed. Collapsed magnetosphere maybe? Hmm. So yeah, temperature swing along the West Coast through BC. With all my friends there and family, I was talking about the temperature swing coming. This Siberian high pressure ridge is gonna create quite a polar vortex for the Northern Hemisphere. And it seems to be splitting and becoming more powerful, just as the low pressure systems are doing on our planet. The high pressure systems are doing the same. So let's over overlook here southeastern United States and as well in, into eastern Canada. You got Tropical Storm Ito, who is going to create a lot of moisture along the coastline. And then a mixed bag of precipitation throughout the Atlantic. But watch as this large Colorado low develops and heads into Ontario as a very large nor'easter. That's right, so this is going to bring blizzard conditions, uh, mixed precipitation across Ontario and up into northeastern United States, Atlantic Canada as well. So stay aware and prepared. You guys are going to have quite an event here coming up in the five day forecast. And then overlooking Europe, same thing is happening. Cooler conditions moving in from the east, though. And as well, a lot of moisture heading into the United Kingdom. Central Europe seeing cooler temperatures as well, higher elevations. Mediterranean, not much to talk about. Africa, daily evaporation rains. Heavier coastal region, Mozambique. Looking at possible two cyclones here developing in the Indian Ocean. Luckily, that's not going to be affecting mankind at all, really. Except for anybody living on the islands there. There's not many. And then, of course, looking at Typhoon Vamco. Now, it was going to be heading into Taiwan, but then straight north into China. Very interesting path of that as well. Overlooking Australia, the next five days, things are going to start really heat up. Looking at 41 degrees Celsius later in the week. And not much moisture to talk about. A little bit of moisture, northeastern continent and as well southeastern towards Sydney. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Just observe how big these low pressure systems are getting. I've been talking about it now for three years on YouTube and I've been talking about it with my friends and family for almost two decades. It's here. It's not just coming. It's here. The grand solar minimum is here. Blizzard conditions, monstrous blizzard, blizzard conditions over the next few months. So stay safe, stay aware and prepared, and stay tuned to Morning Dew. Much love. Stay young and have fun. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.